So kuna watu wanasema si kufanya poa kwenda na huyo mtu kwa gari yangu. Well, nili invite huyo mtu ndani ya gari yangu? No, I didn't. Um, marafiki zake wenye waliingia wali ndani ya hiyo gari, did they manage to leave? Yes. After doing it a countless time, begging them, excuse me, can you leave my car? They left. Yeye akakata, yeye alikuwa na kiburi. You know when Kanjo uh, they they like some sort of arrest on you. So akakata, nikamuliza, so where do you want us to go? Ananiambia madam wetu twende. Like madam tunaenda wapi? Okay. And I was calm and I was like, what is my mistake? Why do you want to arrest me? He can't even be able to tell me what my mistake was. I asked him again, can you kindly leave my car or let me park? And then we can solve this amicably. Like we can just park the car first because I was so confused. I don't want to cause an accident trying to bang other people's car because how will they just storm inside of your car? He refuses to get out of my car. So I had no option but to just lock him inside of that car and drive off with him. Yeah, to just teach him a lesson. And Mikey, this is not the first time he's doing this to me. Yeah, and I always prayed. I always prayed to God. I, I said, one day I'm going to catch this guy and it's not going to look nice. And I'm going to record him so that the whole world can know about him. You can imagine if you don't have like, courage to do all this thing how many other people are like what well, ni, 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 they are going through all this mistreatment from this guy you know and how did you end up inside of my car how how did you did that invite you inside of my car no you no you forcefully entered inside of my car and did i ask you countless times can you get out of my car yes did you leave? No. You refused to get out of my car. What am I supposed to do with you? Really? That's very crazy, you know? It's honestly, it doesn't sit right in many people's heads. Like, who just hop inside of your car by force? Nakate kutoka. And what was my mistake? You know, if I was on the wrong, it would be a very different case. Nilikuwa nimekosa. Hapana. They just want small monies. They just want you to dish them money. No. We have serious problems. Personally, I'm going through a lot. Hmm? Akuna pesa sahi. Nobody missing a pesa. And I'm not going to be bribing people for nothing. No, 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 no. Kila mtu, as I've said, pesa yake kiukweli. And if you feel, kazi yanyu nafanya haikutoshelezi, go on harder. Look for other jobs. Okay? Don't be waiting for people and you just want to arrest them and, and ask them for money. The same, the same thing happened to me with the traffic police. That lady arrested me one day. That one I didn't film. And I will be filming this thing so that people can know about these people. He, she arrested me and she asked me for my driving license. Well, I didn't have like the um, driving license. But I had my ID. I asked him to log into the portal. There's a way you can confirm if somebody's uh, driving license is still up to date or it has expired. This lady tells me, Miss Sina, you're a kati. Songesha Gari Kando. I'm like, it is your right. You need to have that um, in a charger. You need to have that app on your phone and you log in to make things easier. Who is still doing things manually in this time and era? Kila kitu is digital. Why don't you have that app on your phone? You can just log into it using my ID uh, number and you can confirm whether I have a driving license. She wanted to arrest me. She wanted me to give her money. I did give her money actually because I just wanted to serve on time. But this Kanjo guy, this to the, I was just fed up with him. I wanted to teach him a lesson. I really wanted to teach him a lesson. Maybe the only part I went hard on him is Kumuita Umba. But the rest of everything I did, I don't have any regrets whatsoever. Yeah. Hakuna mtu anaruhusu mtu kuingia ndani ya gari ya mtu bila ruhusa. What if it was not Kanjo? It's just somebody who wants to 
mwenye anataka kuni ham we need to style up you don't treat people like that yeah so makanjo may decide they took down my tiktok account that's okay but let me tell you something sakaja talk to your people i think you are the, their master you are their boss they get orders from somewhere above I think these people hata wanakwanga na targets. You need to collect every every one of you needs to collect at least even 2000 or 3000 bob a day. Wapeleke mahali. Talk to the kanjo boss aache watu ku stress watu. Some of us are just trying to 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 make ends meet. Si bi mtu simu haven't shot anybody, haven't stole from anybody. I'm just doing the right thing and I was parking my car. And I jump inside of my car and I decided yo you you really want to waste time with me we are doing it baby today it's your time to shine so I did it that way so that I teach him a lesson that it's not even right to get inside of somebody's car without their permission okay at a way where to try and get on your yako without their you know if this was happening in the United States somebody will mutara ku shoot by the way because who are you and these goons behave so badly and you are tabia mbaya they think they can just harass anybody they are serious criminals in Kenya these corrupt politicians why don't you go for them you want to go for people when you are mayai kwa barabara those people at least they are doing the right thing nyinyi mnaiba pesa mna tuongezea mafuta mnashinda mmetuongezea cost of living kila siku and then you want to come and, and dance inside of my car you don't know what i did to to earn that car these stupid people they get orders from somewhere when i when i chukwanga orders from somebody so that they can come and harass people to collect money it's a cartel you think people don't know eh? the serious people who have serious corrupt cases like why don't you go for those ones? why must you go for someone who is looking for nine bob to just eat in this time of like in this time what to uh, they they're even struggling to put food on their table and then you come and harass them like this this can just they are they're, they're not even well trained they don't know how to handle people that is not how you handle people huh kenyans but the kenyans are get, getting fed up of this they need to know how to handle people there are serious criminals around these places why don't you go for those people why must you go for people like me who is trying to pack their car you can dance with anything you want to dance dance na beya mafuta huko muongezange beya mafuta kila wiki you can go and steal our tax money and do whatever whatever you want to do with people's lives but you won't come and harass me inside of my car that is my personal space and that is my my, my that is my car that is not a government's property or anything you will play with. Useless.